I you know, talking to the finance director. My personal preference from discussing with him, I think we should stick with the original plan um, of going from council's budget. We are, there's an amendment on, it's second reading, correct? This reads cake. We're moving 200000 from the engineering budget, putting it into paving. So we can, instead of moving it from engineering into paving, we can move that 200000 and put it towards this project. The problem is we're still 114500 short. Um, so that money is going to have to come out of the 400000 per council because, unfortunately, there's just not a lot of money. There are other options. I've done a little bit of research on this in the past week. There is approximately, and it won't be here in the next couple days, but um, the auditor's office has said that um, based on encumbered funds that were never spent last year, there's approximately 60000 that down the road will be put into 4501. There is also... I ask the question because I keep asking this question here mm -hmm. of why the tree person is being paid out of the 4501 account. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been informed with this 200,000 coming out of Streetscape, there will be no trees planted. And he probably should not be paid out of that account. That's 27,000 plus benefits. So there's your $100,000 almost of what you're talking. Well, that's what I'm saying. We have to do that and not just ignore the fact oh, that well, we're and, doing and the, this. Yeah. No, money, no, but, no, but you just said we were standing with the plan, and now we're not. Well, the money will, and any freed up money in capital will go towards paving. The same way that we've done it in the past, where it's. No, we, we were getting away from what the plan was for that money again. Yeah. No, I don't know. So we, we're, we're getting away from yeah. each councilman getting a portion of that money to get another road in their ward. The, throwing it in the, the pot, it doesn't get you an extra road. We have always thrown it in the pot. That has no. been how, and it has never been divided up equally that that amongst sports. Do this with some order, guys? Can someone speak one time? Order. I mean, who's got the floor? I the chairman or I, I had the floor. We have never put $400,000 in council's capital fund, at least while I'm down here. Uh, I don't know about some of the members who've been out here long. I mean, we can't spend that $400,000 on paving. It has to move into the paving fund. Mm -hmm. We have never divided money up equally amongst the wards. So what? So, so, what? I, so why, what is it about this year that we start that? And, and I don't understand. Why can't we start something new? I, I have the floor right now. <laughs> I, don't, I, I also think that to, to put $400,000 in a box and put specifics on how that is going to be spent and divided up amongst the wards when we don't have a a committee meeting to discuss that. We haven't voted on that on council. We can't even spend that money out of that fund. It doesn't make any sense. Well, it doesn't make any sense for one councilman to take it all. I'm not taking it all. Very and much. 90% of it. <laughs> if, if you're alluding to the fact of fairness, you know, we can, we can look through the paving for multiple years. Um, fairness is not how it's done. It, it's never been done that way. It's done by priority. It's done by what road needs the money. It's not done yeah. equally per board. Councilman, Chairman. Yes, Member West. Just real quick. The ordinance that's on the table today. Yes. The 80-20 80, 80, split. 80-20 split. And what I heard was we have some avenues where we may be able to get some money for the 20%. That's what we should be talking about today. <clears throat> the $400,000, we can come back to the table and discuss as a group how we disperse that or how we plan to use that. It could be used for paving. It could be used for capital projects on each person's board. But I think that's a different discussion. Does that make sense? Well, but I think today yes. is the 20%. And if I hear <coughs> correctly, there's $200,000 coming here, another 100000 coming there. We may have enough for that 20%. Is that not true? The, the 200000 will be coming, and we're going to be voting on that next week, correct? So, so the amendment, we're, no, that's 200000 now. Towards the 20%, yeah, now is that I, correct? I don't think, correct. yes, no, I, we can do that. That's what I would like to say. But see. we're going to have to wait, and, and I'm, that's, I have no problem with that. I, I want to see this project done, and I do not want to see the lay on this project. The problem will come where the auditor has not 
recertify that 60,000 that Mr. Smuck was talking about. So we'll have to wait for that recertification and then send it through council. But the, we could move the tree, um, the arborist expenditure out of capital, but that's going to take four weeks. Now what we can do to get this project rolling, we can fund this, and when those monies free up, we can move that and then we can decide. But I don't and think that we should delay a project like this. It's just, as I, you know, yeah, absolutely. if I can ask the service director, how soon do you need the 20%? Because we're talking 80-20 split. How soon do you need that in order for this project to move forward? It would have been nice if I had it yesterday. <laughs> but is it necessary? Yes. The 80%, can't that be used first? No, no. We, need, we need the whole amount to move forward. Okay. And we need to fit this out, as uh, Mr. Eglin said last, last week, I believe we need to have it under contract before June 1st, I believe. Can you could get a good chunk of it done by all day? Yes, go northern. Okay. And, and, if I can add. Oh, ODOT, ODOT requires our legislation that promises our match to send the project forward to release the funds for construction. So they will give us the 80 unless we've already committed that to it. All right, so we commit 20%. We're committing that, right? Whether it comes out of that 400,000 or whether it comes out of the 200 or the 100 that Bill was just referring, we still are committing that. Well, we're going to have to. Is that not correct? I we have to show what funds. Yes. Say that louder, I can't hear you. We've got to show it by order. But we get it done in pleasure. So I got that. 200,000 will be shown. We can move to a man showing 200,000 coming out of the other fund. Yeah, number 114. So what did you say you have, Bill? Where? I just I when, found. When, 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 when will that happen? The audit, uh, I mean, my discussions with Gary, it's somewhere down the road. It's not in the next couple weeks. So what's the average? If we, if we have this, this 400,000 and you have nine wards, what's the average? 44,000. Right, 44,000. So if the road's being done, my point is the road's being done in wards one and seven, there's $88,000. Well, we right there. I got $43,000 in my ward according to. Oh, we're talking about this money. We're talking, we're talking about fairness. Number of, yes. Well, I understand. But I'm just talking about what this. this we, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, we, we passed the Faircrest project last week, unanimous, no discussion, no issues. We didn't put these stipulations on that money. We never put stipulations that I can think of, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe, you can, maybe someone can cite what we have. We have never funded a, a project like this in taking money from council members, paving money to fund it. That's not, we have never done this. We didn't do it last week, we haven't done it in the past. What is it about this project that the calculation changes? I don't, I don't think it's the project. Well, I, I don't it think seems it's to be project. the project. No, no, it doesn't. When have we ever, so tell me, Dave, when have we ever it done this? It doesn't matter that we've never done it. So we did it this time as well. Okay, point. so, so well, we, we skip over right last week. Right, please. Let, let, please. Let, let, please. It's a lot more complicated than it really is. Well, really we're going to use, we're going to reappropriate $200,000 mm -hmm. towards this project, right? Yeah. Just on a straw poll, okay, of who supports this project. I'm sure there's more than four or five of us that support the project. Mm -hmm. So out of that mess day that we've put together as a council as a whole, if you take my 44,000 out of the 400, you take Kay Fish's 44,000, you take Edmonds, you take, you're well over the $315,000 that we need. Yeah. So I, I think that pounding our heads, that's fine. That's I love fine. everybody's that's passion fine. because we're yeah. all, everybody wants to get something done. But to me, okay, well, maybe I screwed up putting money into that fund. I thought, you know, I think it's a great idea. I think it's a good thing well, to do. In terms, I, I yeah, guess my suggestion everybody is, it's a fair amount of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like with Mahoney Road, we outside. didn't punish you and make you get back your other stuff. We didn't just do what that. What are you talking about? When we talk about the paving projects that we spent. What are you talking about? That is Listen to me, I'm explaining this. Uh, well, no, we spent council money for that paving project, and we didn't say you had to use your paving allocation to do it. Yeah, we just did the Faircrest. We just did the Faircrest project. We never done it. My point would be, 
if you want to do that going forward, we'll then vote against, the, project. vote against the vote against the Fort Real project. Let's just put it to a vote, put it to debate, and we all know what the issues are. If it passes, yeah. it passes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Everybody wants to get full work yeah. done. The way it's being done financially is wrong. It's, it's wrong to you, and you can mm -hmm. vote no. 